What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're in America, happy Thanksgiving. It's a great time of year. It's one of my favorite holidays. I love all the, the side, mostly a sides guy with Thanksgiving, but uh, turkey, ham, it's a beautiful holiday. And uh, giving thanks to all of you for watching my videos throughout the years. Been doing this for so long. Been doing it for 10 years. This is actually my 10th year. It's pretty crazy, can't imagine. It's been so long and, and amazing, I love it. Uh, first story of the day though, so is all about the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Galaxy S26 Ultra, the bezel might look actually bigger. That's the part that goes uh, around the phone on this, which this one's either dead or off. Uh, so the part that goes all the way around the phone seems like it potentially be bigger. That reason we think this is because Ice Universe is saying that the Galaxy S23 Ultra, 26 Ultra black version features a black frame, not the lighter silver. So the overall visual bezel will be inevitably wider, which I don't know if I care. I mean, is it gonna be a big deal? Is it gonna be that much? I doubt it. I don't think it's gonna look like what you can see with like a uh, Google Pixel 10 Pro Fold where it's got that like big circular bezel that goes like around the phone. I don't think it's gonna be something like that, but it might seem a little bit thicker around the phone on the Galaxy S26 Ultra. I'm honestly not that concerned with it. I have a case on my phone regardless and the case sometimes blocks some of that stuff anyway or it even adds into it. So. I'm not that concerned with it. And even still, is it gonna be that big a difference where it's gonna be an eyesore? I highly doubt it, but who knows? Next up is really exciting stuff. Galaxy S25 Ultra. If you've been wanting to try One UI 8.5, it is right around the corner, guys. Check this out. So, from Tyrone Vats, who's got an amazing track record with software releases, is hearing the same from his sources that One UI 8.5 Beta 2 even not beta one, but he talks about it in here. Beta two is expected to be December 22nd release. Beta three around January 5th. Beta one, December 8th, guys. That's like two weeks away. No, less than two, is it four? Yeah, but less, less than two weeks away, we should have the uh, beta out for our phones. Uh, phase two users may get 8.5 on uh, December 22nd, but phase one is US, UK, Korea, and Germany. Germany kind of surprises me. Explain that one. That's, a, that's not a big country. I, I just, I mean, Germany? It's just kind of weird to me. Well, whatever, it seems like it's always there. Uh, phase two would be India and Poland. Um, but yeah, so you're looking at, if, if you're in the US like me or UK, Korea or Germany, December 8th will be 8.5 beta. I will definitely download it on that phone without a doubt. And then otherwise, uh, it would be December 22nd in a couple of other countries and then beyond and there and so on and so forth where we get different betas as time goes on. But this is great stuff. And speaking of 8.5, some of the AI features that are gonna be in there are the following. They're gonna have Now Nudges, which is a Galaxy AI powered tool that can read what's on the screen and suggest contextual actions. For example, jumping from a location in a message to a map app or trigger translation when viewing foreign language text. They've got recall important info. This one's kind of interesting where it will reference your past chats, screenshots, etc., and surface relevant info when needed. Uh, example would be pulling up a previous address link or detail without you needing to hunt for it manually. We'll see how that works. I'm kind of curious, but just recalling information when it's needed is pretty awesome. Smart autofill for forms. The OS may learn uh, info you've entered previously, name, address, travel info, and offer to autofill forms, bookings, registrations automatically. I mean, Chrome already does that for me, kind of. But if it's not within Chrome and it's within apps, I love that. Um, on the flip side, it is an early beta build. So they've actually removed and disabled some features such as single take and dual recording and the camera app. Uh, the leaked AI features appear in the firmware, but are reportedly aren't functional yet. So it, some of the things I mentioned might not be fully functional when we get it as a beta uh, next month. But ultimately, some of that stuff's kind of interesting. It, it, that, that's what all this stuff is about nowadays. I mean, these phones are so powerful and, and useful that you know, AI and software alone are the big, big selling points. It's not always 
It's not always a sexy thing, but it's something you use every single day. I say it all the time, you know, people get lost up in the hardware specs, and there's a reason that Apple doesn't really talk about their hardware specs. They do a little bit with the processor, but they're not saying, oh, we threw in 12 gigs of RAM on this time around and our display is 4K. They usually don't say that stuff. They just say, it's this kind of display. It's great looking. The colors are great. Uh, it's powerful. Uh, the cameras are great. Like they just throw those things in there. And Samsung's kind of doing the same thing at this point, but with software. So let me know your thoughts on this. Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating. Get ready for Black Friday. It's the very next day. We'll see you guys down the road.